the time is it? Hot girl summer time. It's up. All right, you guys, let's talk about hot girl summer. When I first heard the term hot girl summer, I was like, okay, so it's for single girls who just like wanna party all summer and meet boys or girls and just have a time. But that's just like not what it is. I mean, that's a part of it and that's an element of it. So I'm just getting very empowered vibes from hot girl summer and I'm fully in a relationship that I'm really, really happy in. But we are one long distance, so I'm having a lot of time with myself and my friends and just being more independent, which is really, really good for the soul. Um, and it's summertime and we should have a fun summer and I think it's just another way to kind of exude that is hot girl summer. Woo, like I'm happy, I love myself. I don't know, that's kind of the spin I like to go on. I'm actually starting to go on hot girl walks where I got inspired from someone's TikTok. So every morning I'm gonna go for a walk or if it has to happen in the afternoon, that's fine too. Just going for a walk every day, listening to music that just puts me in a good mood and just celebrating myself. I think that's what hot girl summer should be all about. At least that's what it's all about for me. And just loving yourself and being the happiest self because that's the most rewarding thing at the end of the day. So I wanted to film a video, like I love doing current favorite videos and summer essentials, and then I thought, why don't I just put that all together and do a hot girl summer essentials video. These are the things, these are materialistic things, so hot girl summer isn't just materialistic, it's a mindset, but these are the things that kind of help me get in that mindset, make me feel good about myself, make me happy, clothing I like, accessories I like, and just, I don't know, little tips I have. So without further ado, let's get started. I'll link everything down below that I talk about and yeah I'm really excited I love videos like this but anyways these are things that I've been wearing using all summer and I will continue to use to get that perfect hot girl summer you don't need these things to have a hot girl summer it's totally a mentality but just some inspo number one very simple very basic but very vital sunglasses I love sunglasses sunglasses just make me feel some type of way I feel like you could have an outfit and then you put on a really cool pair of sunglasses and it ties it all together I think having a couple staple sunglasses will really be awesome and they do not have to be expensive. I have great sunglasses from Urban Outfitters. In particular, I'm thinking about these black, thicker rectangle sunglasses. Rectangle sunglasses, super popular, but I'm loving the just a little bit thicker ones because they actually cover your eyes. I find sometimes with the rectangle ones, it's more of a fashion statement, which is great, but it is summer, it is sunny out. I need to protect my eyes. I also live in Florida, so that might be why. Also having a fun pair, like a colorful pair. I have a pair of green sunglasses. They're like semi-cat eye. They're also from Urban Outfitters, actually, and I will also link those down below. They're super great. I love green right now. It's a big color for summer. So having like a black pair, an oversized black pair, I love my Gucci sunglasses, they're my favorite. Key sunglasses, those are a great um, cheaper alternative, they're like the big black sunglasses. And then also just having a pair of aviators, I feel like are great. Mine are from Shop Covery or Covery Eyewear. I literally wear them every day, they go with everything. But having a couple sunglasses that you really like um, can kind of bring together any outfit and it's sunny out, so duh. Next up is a big one. A bathing suit you feel good in. Because I've bought bathing suits in the past that I thought were super cute. And even when ordering them, I was kind of like, ooh, I don't know if that'll look good on me or I don't know if I'll love how I feel in that, like knowing. And then it comes in the mail, guess what? I hate how it looks on me. Now this is all about getting in tune with your body and what you feel good in. I have found this specific style of bathing suit and a specific material almost that I love. I, li I like even to the like nitty gritty of I know what type of bikini bottom I like. The tops, whatever, but the bottoms, I, I've always just been very self-conscious about my legs and like my butt. Um, and so I want to find things that highlight that, if that makes sense. I have a bigger butt, but then with that I have bigger thighs, which is self-conscious. So when you're in a bathing suit and you're having your hot girl summer, you need to feel like a hot girl. You need to feel good about yourself. And at the end of the day, that's a bathing suit that you feel good in. It might not be the one you're obsessed with on Pinterest, but what looks the best on you? What do you feel like when you look in the mirror, you're like, oh, like she fine, okay. For me, that's this one bathing suit. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen it a lot. It's this green bikini from Monday Swimwear. Their stuff fits absolutely amazing. I know they have better options if you have like a bigger chest too. So I have friends that love Monday Swimwear for that. I'm a size small in both the top and bottom. Normally I'm a medium in bottoms, but um, Monday Swimwear I think runs a little bit on the bigger side from what I understand, I'm not sure. I have the green bikini, it's the Aloe Crinkle Collection. This style bikini with these, I'll link them below, these bottoms, they're like thicker bottoms but they're cheeky still. 
I'm finding I really like that style. I like hiking them up a little bit and I just feel like they're very flattering for my legs and they don't make me feel, I don't know. I just, I just like how I feel in that bathing suit. I think it's also that bright green color. I just feel amazing in it and I don't mind running around in my bathing suit in that and it allows me to have that hot girl summer, but it took trial and error. I tried um, other like string bikinis I love, but I don't always feel the best in them. So I have to find those bathing suits. And then I have another one that's like a burgundy color from Revolve. It's from um, Camila's collection and it's so cute. It's kind of the same, it is like the same style as the green one. So I, I just found that I like that style of bikini. I find it really flattering on me. I like it, I feel good in it. And so that's something to tap into. Next up we have a Kindle or a book. I love laying by the pool, I love tanning and I feel like when I feel tanner, I feel better. I just feel more toned. I think everyone can agree with that. And it's so fun to lay by the beach, by the pool, in your backyard, in your front yard, on your roof, whatever tickles your fancy. But sometimes I get tired of music or sometimes I'm tired of listening to a podcast even. I love podcasts, but sometimes I just don't wanna listen to a podcast. Sometimes I don't wanna to talk to the person next to me. I wanna kind of just go to another reality. And for me, that's reading books. And it allows for me to get two things done. I'm tanning, I'm out in the sun, I'm getting my daily dose of vitamin D. And then I'm also transporting myself into another world, whether it's reading fiction, like I love romance novels, I love Colleen Hoover, Renee Carlino, or I'm reading a self-help book. So having a Kindle for me has been great. I thought I loved reading from paperbacks, and I still do, but Kindles are just so convenient. If there's a book I wanna try, I don't have to order on Amazon. I can literally just go on my Kindle and purchase it and read it. And it's really nice because you can see the screen in the sun, which was my biggest worry, but it's amazing. I'll link the Kindle I have down below. It stays charged for so long. I can hold it in one hand, which is amazing. So I can just like lean over. I can block the sun with it. I can read it in bed at night, no problem, even if there's no lights on. It's just amazing and I feel like when I'm reading, I just feel like a better person and I just feel like it's participating in that hot girl summer. Next up, a big accessory I'm loving right now are shoulder bags. One, I'm a purse girl. I always have been in college. All of my friends would like just get the wallet that you put on the back of your phone case and you have your student ID, your ID, all that. But for me, I've always liked to have a purse. I think it's just, I don't know. I didn't, first of all, I didn't trust a wallet on the back of my phone because what if I lost my phone? That would suck. And two, purses are another accessory to your outfit. So I think it was just a good excuse to, I don't know, have an accessory. I love bags. In particular, shoulder bags right now. I have a yellow one, I have a green one, I have an orange one. I love them, especially if you have a pair of matching shoes, so cute. Like my orange bag with my orange sneakers just ties in a whole outfit right away, it's so fun. But shoulder bags in general, like I have this one right here. I just love it, it's super easy for on the go. If you're headed to the beach even, you just have your little shoulder bag and your beach bag. Or if you're going to the mall with friends, you've just got your little, I don't know, I just I just love the shoulder bags. I like how they're right here. They're kind of the new crossbody bags. Like crossbody bags were definitely in. I still use them, but shoulder bags, it's a look. I can't not talk about claw clips. And it's not because they're, not only because they're trendy. They're trendy, they're cute. I love how they're coming back. There's, there's tortoise ones, there's white ones, there's ivory ones, they're so, so beautiful. And it's really, really nice. But the main reason is because I feel like the summer, I personally try to do this and I know a lot of other people try to as well, is use less heat on my hair. And sometimes when my hair is down, see I'm touching my hair a lot in this video, I know. Um, when my hair is down, I'm touching it more, I'm making it more greasy, I'm wanting to style it with heat. But when my hair is in a claw clip, life is good. I just put my hair in a claw clip, put some fun hoop earrings in, a little glowy makeup, some necklaces, a sundress, even just my bikini. And I'm good to go. And claw clips are nice if you don't want to get your hair fully wet when you're in the pool. I've been there. My guy friends always make fun of me. Like, oh, you don't want to get your hair wet wet today. I'm like, yeah, you're right. I don't. I just did it this morning. Okay. So claw clips have just so many great potentials. And it's really cute if you take your claw clip and put it on your purse or on your beach bag or your tote bag. It's kind of a fun look and it's just always there if you need it. It's just quick if you just need to put your hair up. Like right now, all I want to do is put my hair in a claw clip now that we're talking about it. But it's a great way to use less heat on your hair. It looks great, it gets your hair out of your face, highlights your beautiful face, and they're just great. Hats, I love hats right now. Trucker hats, I'm kind of into these flat bill hats right now. This one's from Mad Happy, I just got it. I love what that brand's all about. I have one from La Ropa with the capsule, it's like that Yankees hat. Bucket hats, we love them, and specific terry cloth bucket hats. 
I just got a green one from Revolve that I cannot stop wearing. I love green right now. And it's just like a wider bucket hat. So it's super flattering and it really blocks the sun from your face because I hate when my face gets burnt. Like I want to get tan, but my face, it's a whole other story. I also just purchased a pink terry cloth bucket hat that's coming in the mail. Bucket hats are just where it's at if you find the right bucket hat for you. That's the thing, you have to feel comfortable in it, you have to feel cute in it. Next up, a daily planner, a journal, something of the sort. I know it's summer, so if a lot of you guys are still in school, you're like, eh, like I don't wanna plan my day, I don't have homework. Well, this is a little bit of a self promo, but also I seriously love it and I use it every morning. My collaboration with Doing Well Daily, I made my own day book with her last year for back to school season, but you don't have to be a student to use it and you don't have to only use it during the school year. There's a single day on each page and the left side of the page is more motivational. So you write your daily affirmations, what you're grateful for, you trace the quote, it's very therapeutic, kind of affirms it for the day. You write what you're gonna do for self care, how many cups of water you've had. That's how I like to start my morning with a cup of coffee or tea, just kind of get my mindset right. And then on the right side, it's your plan. So you could have your daily schedule, you can have your work list, your side hustle list, your school if you're taking summer classes I just even if it's not my doing well daily one which I will link down below I love it and I designed it exactly how I wanted it to be but it also could just be a blank journal that you write in it when you feel like it doing brain dumps writing ideas it could be a normal daily planner it could be the five minute journal I've seen those um, where you start your day something just to start your day with the right mindset I just think is great and it helps for hot girl summer or going to therapy just something where you're expressing your feelings um, and not bottling them in, I think allows just for a happier life. Body yada 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 yada. Hey, body oil is my best friend, especially during the summer. I use body oil like it's my job. I've used all kinds. Right now, I'm using one from Osea. Um, it's just like the Andaria Algae Body Oil. It's amazing because it has a pump, so you just pump it, put it on your arms, legs. I love using it on my legs and even around like my bikini area if I'm wearing a bathing suit. It just kind of smooths out your skin. People are always, people think I have really smooth skin, so thank you guys. Like, people will comment on my Instagram, like, how do you get your skin so smooth? And I'm very honored, truly. So, um, I use the body oil a lot. I just put it on in the morning. I mainly do my arms, so my arms look a little bit more toned and just shiny, and it smells good, and on my legs, and like my butt in particular, just to kind of give a little oomph. Um, body oil is great. I suggest straying away from shimmery body oil or shimmery body lotion because people use that and then you go out in the sun and it doesn't look very good. It's more for like, I feel like stuff with shimmer in it and stuff is better for nighttime situations. And I think people forget and then they go out in the sun and it's like, oh, I'm sparkly, like that's happened to me. Body oil is amazing and it just makes you feel really, really great. And it's good to moisturize your skin. It's your largest organ. So. Next up, we have sneakers. I love sneakers for like workouts and stuff like that. Going for our hot girl walks, we need some comfortable sneakers that we feel one good in and comfortable in. So I got this pair from Nike. I'll link them down below. I think they're called the Nike Super Rep sneakers. I love them. A lot of people are getting them right now. They've got some fun colors in them. They're supposed to be really good for high intensity interval training, um, but I think it's also just great for walks. Very comfortable. I feel like I'm walking on a cloud. They give me a little height too, so I'm not complaining. They're so dope. They're just so sick and they look great and they're comfortable and I get excited to put on my sneakers to go for a walk if that makes sense. And you just like bounce more in those sneakers too. I don't know how to explain it. And then also a fun pair of colored sneakers. I got the Nike Orange Low Dunk sneakers. They basically kind of look like Air Forces, but um, they've got some orange in them. And I got a matching purse from Urban Outfitters that the oranges are very, very similar. So sometimes if I'm just in doubt and I don't know what to wear, I'll put on, honestly, an outfit similar like this. Maybe not an orange shirt. I'll wear like a white shirt, put on the orange dunks with the orange bag, and it's a whole outfit. And it looks like you really, really tried. Colorful sneakers are just so fun. You could wear them with like a white sundress or just any sundress that those colors kind of pull into it. So fun and a good pair of walking sneakers, very important. Last but not least, one of my favorite essentials, especially for the summertime, are layered necklaces. I have this double layered chain one from Argento Vivo, which is great, and then I match over top this dependent necklace from the M Jewelers. Just finding jewelry that's the same color gold, same color uh, silver, whatever it is, and just different lengths so they kind of all go together, look really cute. If you're just wearing your bikini and you have layered necklaces on, it's just so fun. And again, it's just, these are little things that make me just feel really, really great and just add something to my outfit, especially if it's 
super simple. Yeah, those are my hot girl summer essentials. Again, hot girl summer is a mentality. It's not just based off of the things that you have. You can also find things similar like this in your closet, I'm sure, but just giving you a little reminder. I hope you're all having an absolutely amazing summer. I hope you're having a great day. Get in that mindset. You're a boss. You're amazing. We're on this journey together, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you liked it, subscribe down below so you're notified when I post. Follow me on Instagram. Listen to my podcast, Gals and Go. And we'll talk next time. Bye, guys.